Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. You're watching Bob's Bangers, home of all things rubbish. I am back. <laughs> it's been quite some time. Uh, for anyone that didn't catch my post, basically, uh, I've had a lot going on. <laughs> I've moved to a different town. I've uh, just got to set up in my, uh, my own flat for the first time, which is quite exciting. I haven't had internet for a while. I've been working six, seven days a week for quite some time. So, truth be told, I haven't really had a lot of time to record, but I am back now. I can't promise that the recordings are going to be consistent. Um, I'm going to just have to try and play it by ear, unfortunately. Uh, but I will try my best to keep on top of things. To be tr <laughs> honest with you, I haven't got a clue what I was going to jump into. Oh, the Japanese 80s festival. Do I have an 80s Japanese car? That's the question. I've already done the Japanese 80s. I don't even remember. Uh, can I sort by... Why date, price, country, shooting company, aspiration, life history. No! <laughs> I don't think it. Oh, can I? Ah, I can! Perfect. Right, let's have 83. I've, I have got 11. <gasps> I could use the four draws per Z. Hmm. I actually want to build 11, so let's do that. <laughs> oh, I haven't played Gran Turismo in quite some time, so <laughs> I'm going to be shocking again. I mean, I'm always shocking, but it's going to be quite interesting to be back. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the audio of, in the room. Uh, it's because I haven't got a lot of furniture in here at the minute. It's quite echoey, so I'm probably going to need to do some sort of soundproofing at some point to stop so much background noise. And now my... Um, Computer's up on the desk as well, so you might hear a bit of noise from that. I'm still working things out, so you know, we will try and get sorted eventually, shall we say. But yeah, you know, a lot to catch up on with you guys, so whoever watches the video, post a comment down. Just let me know how you're doing, what's new. I'm always interested to learn about what you guys have been up to. Uh, truth be told, not a lot's going on in the realm of, uh, <laughs> realm of myself, uh, apart from my car being an absolute knob again um but what's new uh, i think the battery it needs a battery because <laughs> every morning light under the sun's come up but it's all i remember the last mot that said something about the battery getting low so i imagine it's to do that those are cool i just wish you could make the wheels bigger in this game but they're going on i like those um let's go tune this thing i don't think there's an eight six event Maybe there is. Maybe there's a Corolla event I don't know about. Let's have a look. I need to do the Yaris race again. Uh, <laughs> we'll do a Tesla one at some point. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah. Oh. I mean, the car's pretty light as it is. I can't see it needing this, but... Ding, 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 ding. Um... What's it come on? Does it come on comforts? Uh, sports mediums are fine. Semi racing suspension. Truth be told, I don't know what sort of engine upgrades I'm going to do to this. I if it was, I've I've, I've wanted an eight six for so long. <laughs> it's one of my all time favourite cars. Um, truth be told, I'd want to do a beam swap, cams, ITBs, and stuff. There was a video that KG Suchia put out recently where he drove an Altezza that had ITBs on it. And it was one of the most incredible sounding four cylinders on the planet. Like, so much better than all the modern crap. <laughs> I don't think there's a good sounding modern four cylinder car. I think they all kind of have this horrible drone to them. That's fun. 197 horsepower? Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely worth that. I mean, how much is the six? Yeah, see, that's not worth the money. Um. Sport exhaust, 205. That's plenty of power for me. Yeah. I'm sort of making like a little touring car at this point. <laughs> um, I don't want super close gearing. I, I'd like to use this car for some other stuff if I can, so I'll probably put some mods on it. I don't know what I'll use it for, some special events. I'll <laughs> we'll put a better clutch in it. I'm not going to go mental, I'm not going to max it out. It's not much point. I mean, at the end of the day, it's only going to be as fast as you can make with 8.6 in this game, and I don't think you're going to make it that fast. 
I will put a two-way diff in it, though. Just because. Skids. Perfect. Wonderful. Um, I don't need a carbon drive shaft. Racing brakes? Ah, why not? We'll make it stop <laughs> a lot more aggressively. There'll be a giggle. Right. What full TRD models are there, actually? Sleeker. That's a nice looking car. I, or Celica, whatever you pronounce it as. I've always heard it as Celica in this country, but I imagine most people would call it Celica. <laughs> I've always liked these, though, uh, especially with the um, 2ZZ in it. Yeah, just a very, very raucous engine. That's a good looking car. I might have to buy one at some point, anyway. Um, before we do anything, let's go slam this thing. Start your press. Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> it is start. Okay. Um, oh, while I'm here, and I remember. Come on. Let's absolutely dump it. <laughs> I don't know enough about all the suspension tuning this game to actually make anything legit. <laughs> it's all legitimate changes. Um, I don't really care, to be honest, either. <laughs> We've just added 80 horsepower to this car, so that's the fun part. How does it look now, though? How low is it? Hard to tell from here. Let's get an event. Uh, Japanese events. Normal sports tires. Oh, good job I didn't put race tires on it, then. 3,000 credits per race. Is it a championship? 3-6 gold. At 15k. That's alright. I won't. I, I was never going to make my money back on the 8.6, but I don't really care. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not playing Gran Turismo to make profit. Ah, <laughs> oh. it was. At least we're racing stuff that's actually quite close to our car. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I did forget to change the gearing. So, this ended up being quite close anyway. Good turn in though. Not bad. No, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Oh, you dog. Alright. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to restart, and I'm going to change the gearing a little bit. Uh, well, it has got a six gear. Ah, she'll just use the auto settings. Yeah, that'll do. It'll be a little bit longer anyway. <laughs> Might help with traction off the line. Let's see. Right. Avoid the sneaker. There is a Galant in here as well. That's pretty cool. Go, 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 go. Come on. There we go. A little bit longer. Get past the Piazza. Always like the Piazzas. I remember seeing a couple of turbo ones at Jap Fest one year. Just very cool looking cars to me. Leave me alone, Sleeker. Oh, there we go. I mean, it doesn't help itself, Capitan, as well, which is a track I absolutely hate. Well, I hate driving it. I think it's a cool track, but it's, I'm so bad at it. Get turned. Yeah. I mean, since we're back on Gran Turismo, I mean, I think the updates come out to fix it, but uh, what did everyone think to the bouncy cars on GT7? <laughs> I mean, how did that make it through testing? That is incredible. But then again, when you make any sort of physics change to a game, you've got to expect some sort of 
Well, actually, no, you shouldn't. I don't get it. Like, you've, you've spent all this time engineering it. How do you not find the bugs in it? Like, just release it a month later and actually have it be right in the first place. Like, surely someone had to have tested that. Uh, we live in a world where you basically buy a game on a rental plan. <laughs> it's, it sucks. Like, if it, it genuinely feels like you have to finance your game because... You know, although you pay for it outright, it just you never get a complete game straight off the bat. I mean, look how long it's taken them to do a lot of the fixes to Motorsport 8. And it still sucks. <laughs> it's still not great. I mean, at least they fixed the upgrade progression and all that sort of stuff. But, I don't know, the online just still isn't there. I mean, for God's sake, where's the open lobbies? But, ah, uh, whatever. That's why I'd be playing on the 360 where I can... <laughs> A little bit of Test Driver Limited 2, a little bit of PGR4. Love those games, man. A lot of Motorsport 4. Yeah, look at us. This thing's this is pretty rapid, actually. I mean, you could turbo this, but... I'm not sure it would actually be much quicker. You'd probably get more torque though, that's the difference. Yeah, torque does make a car a lot quicker, obviously. <laughs> but then again, it's only at 1.6, isn't it? So you can't expect it to be massively sort of punchy low down in the rev range. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, a lot's happened since uh since my last video, like I said, I've, I've moved to a different town now, finally got my own place. Back with all my mates again. Yeah. Got a chance to drive uh, my best mate's S5. Cool car. It's a B9, I believe. Which means turbo B6. Cool. It is a really cool car, actually. It's quite, um... It was a lot quicker than I was expecting it to be, I'll be honest. <laughs> like, and driving it is... As well, I mean, everyone, everyone else that's driven it thinks it's a bit boaty. I'm coming from a base model golf, so my expectations are very low. So I, was, I thought the car was excellent, but standards are low, sorry, not expectations. But um, I can see why people would think that. I mean, if you throw it into a corner and treat it like a hot hatch, it will flop over. But if you know, you sort of take the slow and fast out approach with the thing, it's an incredibly competent car. Would I buy one? <laughs> I'd rather ha I'd rather take the slow one and have the V8 just because uh, I like the 7,000 RPM. Yeah, I mean it's mental to think that today's S5 is quicker than well at the same 0 to 60 anyway as the previous generation RS5 with the 4.2. But that engine's just special. Oh man. Yeah, we're flying along. That's all right. Shaved a fair amount of time off on that time there. Damn it, great. This thing's excellent. And it's a flamethrower. I love building flamethrowers. <laughs> um, so in terms of recording, like I said, I'm not sure how often I'm going to be able to record. I mean, I've been called for jury service there for the next two weeks, so I've got to be um, on a jury panel for something. I don't know what the case is, I'm not allowed to talk about it and all that sort of stuff, so unfortunately this will be the only time you hear about it, but <laughs> it does mean it takes up a fair amount of my time, but I've, uh, if, I get a if I get a free day I will see if I can uh, record some Midnight Club and some TXR again, because I miss it, like I I've missed talking to you guys and recording and getting these videos out, for some of the reason my Discord account got um, deleted as well, so I've got to make a new Discord account and try and fuck Nearly! <laughs> I've been trying to make an effort to try and swear a little bit less as well, but, you know, I'm... I know. I've got to make a new Discord account to sort of try and advertise my videos on a few channels and stuff as well. And Not just that, I just like talking to some creators and supporters, like seeing what other people are doing. Because, you know, there's so many cool little channels out there that should deserve to blow up, and they haven't quite done it yet, so... You know, I'd, I'd love to be able to sort of... Uh, start linking some of those channels into my videos and say, look, this guy does it better than I ever will, or this girl, or whatever you identify as, you know, go check them out as well. Obviously, still watch me. <laughs> 
just be more impressed with someone else's work because I say there's some serious content creators at the minute and I'd love to see him get more love. Oh man. Well, I'll tell you what, I'd love to know from you guys, are you Team Levin or Team, uh... Oh god, what's the other one? Is it Treno? Oh goodness, I've already... What's the name of it? That's the other one. Yeah, it's Treno. The initial D one. <laughs> I personally prefer Eleven. And it has to be a hatch. I don't, I'm don't. i not a big fan of the coops. I think they just look a bit dorky. Same as... Uh, but it's weird. I think they look a bit dorky. But I like the notchback Mustangs. Uh, the Fox bodies. But... Or whatever they're called. They're not, the, not the hatch ones. The ones with the glass sort of stops where the boot is. Basically the one that looks opposite to this. I don't know what the fucking name is. <laughs> but yeah, it's weird. It's, I just think certain cars suit certain roof lines. I tell you, actually, if we're talking roof lines, the worst offender, the, the worst roof line I've ever, well, roof and boot line I've ever seen on a car is the three and four series convertibles. I don't get how BMW went from making the three, like the E46 and E36 convertibles, which are genuinely handsome cars, to making the E90 shaped convertible and the F series convertible. They're hideous. Like the coupe looks great, the wagons look amazing. You know, the saloons are great, but the convertibles are awful. <laughs> oh, a bit of slowdown. It always happens on this map. Oh dear. At some point, I'm going to get the PC rebuilt as well because I need something that actually performs. But it happens. We'll deal with it. Whoa, that slowdown is horrendous. Come on. Yeah, let's get past all the cars so they're not constantly in front of me. <laughs> it might help out a little bit. Oh wow, that is bad. <laughs> Let's see if I change to a different view, if that helps. No, okay, I can't deal with that. <laughs> Hang on just a second. <laughs> uh... Let's try that. Uh, I don't know any of what I'm looking at here. Give that a go. See if that helps load it a little bit. Well, it seems to be loading a bit quicker, actually. See if dropping it to 1080p so the game doesn't have to try and work so hard to look pretty. Can like, you tell it's been quite some time? Let's go. Let's see if that helps it. Ah, it still looks alright. It just looks like Gran Turismo. <laughs> well, it slowed down here before and it hasn't done it, so I think we've fixed it. Alright, let's go. We have got to play catch up to that little MR2 though. That thing's fast. So, that's four seconds ahead now. Get rid of the, uh, the skyline. Get past the Civic. Right, it's 3.4 seconds. Okay. Come on. 
The thing about the MR2 is it's always going to have a good launch just being mid-engined and if it's the supercharged one, being quite powerful. Oh, uh, shaved off another half a second. Yeah, we've got it. I'm trying very hard not to break out into song in a bit. I've been listening to um, a lot of Mastodon at the moment. I've, I've, um, I don't know what it is. I, I've sort of stumbled across them. I've never really listened to him before. I don't know why. And then I just sort of, uh, I watched uh, Brad Dela uh, do the video for Drumio. And... Bloody hell! <laughs> what an incredible drummer! It's, one of the, it's genuinely one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. Like, I just watched him play stuff like Steam Reaver and um, like the Motherload and all that. Uh, it, it's, it was such an inspiration. And it's made me want to get back into music big time. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that Otherwise, I'm a rubbish musician. I rarely practice. I know no theory. I play for fun, and that's about it. We're not really gaining on it. Mm. <laughs> but I love it. I have fun with it. Ooh. I actually might need some more power. Never thought to say that about a 200 horsepower car that only weighs 900 kilos, but we're currently getting dusted by the MR2. Yeah, see, it's pulling away. Which makes me think he's cornering quicker than us. Hmm. Turn. I'm going to keep going. I'm definitely catching, actually, to be fair. Ah, oh, hit limit! No! Come on! Let's see if I'm close enough for a draft. Oh, we've made up some time in that. Oh, it's going to be close. I think if I catch him, it's going to be on the last lap. Come on, turn. Back on the power. Go! Come on! <laughs> it's, it's there! Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get you. Ah, what was that right? God, that was awful. Ah, uh, but it doesn't matter. The end is near, MR2. Can we just take a second to appreciate how good the, MR, the Mark 1 MR2 looks? AW11, I think it is. I love those things. I'd love one. Honestly, you know, if I could buy project cars and stuff for the channel at some point, an AW11 is one of the cars that we're going to be seeing. 100%. Oh. Question is, do I have an opportunity to get past... It is quick, that thing. See, he's taking that flat. Go! Just a little nudge. Just, just a, a little kiss. Yes! Okay. Now, unless it's got nitrous, I'm fairly sure we're, we're good here. I'll... Oh. That was a race. <laughs> but this is what I like. This, this is what I have more fun on Gran Turismo, is when, you know... We actually have close races. Scuba, yes. Before we do, 
I might just squeeze a little more power out of this thing. Let's have a look. <laughs> Wonderful. Four and a half grand for two horsepower. What am I like? Can you turbo it? You can. So stage two turbos. Mm. Ah, it's powerful. Supercharge can be fun. 220 brake. So that's 12 and a half. That's also two. I mean, yeah, look, 240 horsepower and an 86. <laughs> what does the engine balance do? Uh, why not? Why wouldn't we? Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I might also turn the traction control off for this as well. Just a scuba. I mean, it's going to absolutely roast the tyres coming off the line. Unless, I, I might be able to stop that from happening if I put it in second off the line? Uh, yeah, let's, turn, let's, let's have some fun. Let's see what happens. Unless it's a rolling start. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> oh, it's loud now. Still, still a decent red line. Yeah, it's going to rotate. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, bit of understeer still. Yeah, I don't think the tyres quite up to the task. I should really buy a 1980s R32. To be honest, that's the car I should have really bought <laughs> thinking about it. But. Yeah, this is fun. Because it's a lightweight car with a lot of power now. Well. Relative to what it is, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people say 250 horsepower is not a lot. And, you know, in a two-ton barge it is. A bit, something like this. Yeah. The MR2 is definitely the better the handling car out of the two. I would be curious to see how much faster it is round here on slicks. Okay. <laughs> I'd say that was a pretty good slide. Awesome. God, you forget how fun this game is. <laughs> this car's 
absurd. Yeah, that's good. To be fair, if I hadn't hit the handbrake in that corner and started sliding about, I think that actually might be an even faster lap than before. Ooh. Yeah, we're flying. This car's awesome. Ah. Uh, I'm correcting too much. Because I'm used to it. I'm expecting it to snap big time. Oh, well. There we go. Turning, 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 going, yes! I love this thing. <laughs> this is one of my favourite cars we've built on this uh, playthrough so far, I reckon. Now, am I being too cautious with it, or is this actually faster? That's good through there. Stay flat, stay flat, stay flat. There we go. Big flame for the exhaust. There we go. Good run. <laughs> it was faster. Excellent. Ah. Goodness me. What's next? I don't know what the other two tracks were, I can't remember. So, we shall have a look. Apricot Hill and Suzuka, is it the big one? Ah, oh, I hope it's not the big one. <laughs> I do like this track, this one's a fun one. Let's see, that's Skyline, Levin, Karina, Lancer. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that as a launch, it wasn't horrendous. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. oh, this isn't the track I thought it was. I'm thinking of something else. But I, I do like this one as well, though, I must admit. With, like, the rip-off Suzuka bit after this. <laughs> don't think this is a real racetrack, but if it was, it'd be a fun one to drive. With the elevation changes and all. Uh, Gran Turismo are the kings of, um, like, these fantasy tracks. Oh, bloody hell. Like, so many of them are so much fun to drive. Get back on the road! God, you moron, man. What am I doing? Uh, 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, like this, this driving something like this, like this, this, this next section, like in an <laughs> actual car, would be so much fun. I should be inferred. There we go. Fair enough, game. Go, we go, we go. Yep, 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 yes! Come on! To be honest, there's still not that much talk, even with the turbo. There again, I'm used to the big SL600 from the last video I recorded. That thing was a monster. I tell you, I've been watching a lot of that um, Jason Camisa's revelations. Uh, Jason Camisa is my all-time favourite uh, sort of car reviewer, if you will. <laughs> uh, what's the actual word for them? I can't remember. But anyway, um, his most recent video is on the BMW 850 CSI, and I've I've always wanted an old school 8 series. Anyway, like I, I would have been happy with an 840. No, I really want one. <laughs> After watching it, I didn't realise on the CSI a lot of the work was done by M. Like, the shortest gearing of <laughs> 12 car as well, if I remember the video correctly. It's just cool. And the noises I think we're making at the end of that video are incredible. It, it, the guy's awesome, but him and Anthony, they just make some of the coolest videos. And uh, Derek as well, with... Um, was a BTS with DTS, like just really cool videos on really cool cars. Whoops! <laughs> uh, it's still an 86. Sideways is still in its nature. Oh, that's awesome. This car's awesome. Can you? Hasn't quite got the ponies for that. <laughs> oh, wow. What a car. Turn. And I've spun it. Yeah, that's what you get for being an idiot. <laughs> I was trying to get it to go sideways, we just understood. Doesn't matter though. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Oh, it's, it's so good to be back, man. I've missed this. <laughs> I've missed recording for you guys and playing Gran Turismo and TXR and Midnight Club. Not, not so much Midnight Club, I must admit. I forgot how hard that game was. <laughs> for me, anyway. But I do want to continue with it because I know there's it gets better and better. And just, it's that car list in that game is incredible. Yeah, I, don't, I want to show that off. Oh, it's a 13 point race. Oh, it's the City Turbo. That's what's caused it. Not the RX-7. Okay. That is the full layout. Oh, dear. I, do, I love an FC as well. Well, we've gone over this in the kind of race to play through. Which is going to be a nightmare if I ever want to play that game again. Because when uh, I had my big safe... Uh, save file delete that happened ah oh, I lost all the data on Kaido Racer as well it's basically back when I had the gold Celica <laughs> 
So I'm going to have to play through the whole game again, which isn't an issue for me. I, like, I love playing that game, so I'll do it my own time and just sort of build it up. But there's probably going to be some cars in there that weren't in the playthrough. So for continuity, I'm going to have to remember when I go back to that game. Because I do want to go back to it. I know there's some other uh, stages and races and stuff that I still need to do. Excuse me. And a lot of the... Um, there's a lot more cars I want to build in that game as well. Just see what they're like. <laughs> oh man, this car is so good. Yeah, I've been... Um, so end of next year now is when I'm hopefully replacing the Golf. And I did what I... Uh, I, did, <laughs> I did what by a Range Rover, to be honest with you. Like a, a 4.2 supercharged, like a L322 shape. But, I don't know, it's just... The more I think about it, the more I think it's when I'm a lot more financially stable. <laughs> That'll probably be a better car to own, so I haven't got a clue what I'm buying next. I, did, I don't really want another diesel, but I did look at a 640D. Not the Grand Coupe, because if I was going to buy a 640D Grand Coupe, I'd just buy a 5 Series, or a 7 Series, or something like that. Or even a 3 Series with the, that engine. But, I don't know. I It's a cool car. A good friend of mine had a, uh, had, to be fair, he had a Grand Coupe. And they're cool looking things, don't get me wrong. I get why people like them. They're sort of like the A7 in a way, but... Six, I think the 6 Series looks better. <laughs> but yeah, I'd, I'd rather just have the 2 door. But that thing it was just such a lovely cruiser. And it was as quick as you needed a car to be. Like, 5 point something to 60. Maybe he's doing it all to 61. So, you know, it, it's that 40 to 70 that counts, really. Especially in this country. And the thing just, was, just had talk for days. It just kept pulling. And because it's a straight 60s, so it has got a nice tone to it as well. For a diesel. <laughs> so, I don't know if anyone's got any experience with them. If they do, let me know. I'd love to know what you think of them. If it's not that, maybe a M135i. I must. I am a bit of a BMW boy. I, I, not to the point where I defend them to the hills. Like If they lose drag races, it's whatever. I don't really care if... A car that I like is faster or slower than the next car. I don't judge cars and how quick they are unless it's in a video game. And even then. <laughs> but. Yeah, I'd be curious to know, like. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Yes! <laughs> oh, I was hoping for more of a slide there. But yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Like I said, there's a lot we need to catch up on. <laughs> Especially once the PC's built and um, I can start doing some of the videos that I want to do. Oh, tits. <laughs> Come on. But um, I want, what, what I wanted to start doing is getting a, like a steering wheel and pedals and stuff and start doing some a set of course of videos. But like basically where I just shut up and <laughs> just drive a car down to like some of the toge runs or whatever. Just like showcase some different cars, do some like mountain driving, Maseratis and stuff. Like, showcase some mods and things like that. Like I said, I'd, it'd be no no commentary. It'd literally just be the car going up and down the hill. Unless you guys wanted the commentary there. Like, in which case it'd be cool. But, you know, once once I get the PC done, I get my, my sim rig set up. But that'd be, well, bought and set up, I should say. I'd like to start making some videos like that. You know, perhaps doing some BMG drive stuff. Where my PC can actually, hand, actually handle loading in more than one car. <laughs> Excellent. Whee. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. What a fantastic car. And done. Yeah, I can honestly say, 243 horsepower. That's what you need in it. Oh, to be fair, I've seen 86s with like 160 horsepower. They look like an absolute riot. Stock, they, they look wicked. But I must admit, if I was buying an 86, it'd definitely be tuned. Whether it be the stock 4 age or the uh, 4 age, if you will. Or um, 
you know, do what I really want to do and put a uh, beam swap in it, the HSR2 concept. I think I have done this championship before because I remember seeing that. Or maybe I don't. I don't remember. It's an ugly thing, isn't it? <laughs> Call Exhaust is pretty cool, but not a very pretty car. Uh, let's have a look. To be fair, I've only got the GT Championship and the Night uh, Challenge, so I might do the Nighties Challenge after this. Should we, should we look at? Should we look at some Nighties cars? I mean, straight away we're off to a good start, aren't we? It is a Type X, uh, 3000 GT, four-wheel drive, not turbo though. I don't know. Evo four. In white, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Should we see what else is in here? Ah, oh, there's a Skyline as well. Sylvia, Z28, FTO, MGF. SC300, those are cool. Spree V8, again. I love the Spree. Stadia, 206, Demio. That's pretty cool. It's a coupe. You don't see a lot of those. MR2 S edition. Did that car really come out in 1999? Fuck, I'm old. <laughs> That's a good looking one as well. Red seats, blue exterior. That's nice. I like that. Oh, S2000, Varietta. <gasps> That's the special edition 86, isn't it? Basically, the one from Initial D. Do I really want? Yeah, I'm gonna spend 40 grand on it. Of course, uh, 40 grand. Sorry, of course I am. I'm not gonna use it now, but I am gonna buy it. <laughs> Shuichi Shigeno. I do apologise. I butchered that name. <gasps> it's clearly six. There's a Prius. Wow. Uh, early 90s. I'm just car shopping at this point. <laughs> Fiat Panda, RX-7, NSX, Celica, Skyline. Yeah, I mean, mm, nice. Cappuccino. I know that could be quite fast. Ooh, there is a VR4 Turbo. God, I do love these things. Yeah. I might actually already have one. I'm not going to buy it, just in case. I mean, they pop up every time, like every five minutes in this game. Uh, we'll check the 80s one, just in case, as well. <laughs> cool. This is... Uh, just, it sort of reminds me of the, uh, the, the Fiat Dino Coupe. Very similar styling, apart from when you get to the back, but... That's got the same sort of roof line and front end. Good looking car. There's a 500F. Cure. Look at that. Race car. Oh, but hang on. There's a 500L. I don't actually know what the L means. This has just been longer. <laughs> it looks the exact same. Oh, maybe the roof line's a bit different. St I still like it. It's a quirky little car. Uh, 240. But the Volvo 240. <laughs> it's Galant, Minica, Skyline. Yeah, okay, we'll call it there. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that was the disaster. But we shall end the video there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know when the next video is going to be, but I thought I'd try and get something out to you guys where I can. Uh, I will try and upload as much as I can where I can, but I can't promise it's going to be every week. But we'll just please persevere. <laughs> That's all I can ask you is. But I will see you in the next one where we're going to tune up my Evo, probably to way more powerful than it needs to be. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Take care, everyone.